right there. So if I want to go ahead and make a, I can start it right there and line this up. light off. We've got some backlighting going on. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and turn the overhead light on. i got a tool here that I purchased. I, I bought this a long time ago, and the reason I bought this is when I, um, when I was building my building, I had to do a lot of conduit work, and I purchased this item to help me bend the pipes. We're going to go ahead and check it out and see what we got. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. So what we're looking at here, we are looking at a tube bender. This is a portable tube bender. I want everybody to look at this. Now before we go any further, I want to let everybody know this is from Vevor. This is a Vevor product. This is one of the first things that I bought from them when I uh, found out about them uh, several years ago. And this thing has been a lifesaver for a lot of situations. Let me go over it and I'm going to show you everything that you get with this kit and then what it's used for. So what we got here, we got an item that's called a 90 degree multi-bending kit, okay? And this kit is the CT-99-9RF, so it's triple nine RF. This is used for copper lines, this is used for um, uh, aluminum lines, and if you're lucky, conduit to bend for your conduit uh, to run your electrical. Um, we can also use this for metal fabrication, um, for getting nice curved bands. Look at that right there. Alright. Do you see that? And then we're going to go ahead and bend this piece. I'm going to show you how simple and easy it bends. This is solid steel. This is not copper. This is not aluminum. But this is made for getting contour bands in round stock. Whether it is uh, aluminum piping, copper piping, or possibly um, small metal or like I was saying earlier brake lines fuel lines to get that accurate bend that you need so now that we know what we got here let's go ahead and open it up and like I said when I first purchased this I thought that I can use this for a, uh, a bending for my conduit which it actually worked good don't get me wrong but um, then I realized you can use it on a lot of stuff because when I bought it, I saw all these little dies, uh, little different sized dies, and I'm thinking, wow, I can use that when I install brake lines if I want to. I can use that when I install um, uh, fuel lines on vehicles. Uh, just a, a really, you know, what can I say, uh, overall multi-tool that you can basically use on any type of round stock that you can actually use it on. So, of course, the first thing we got is our ratcheting handheld wrench. And when I say ratcheting, every time you pull on it, if you watch close, it ratchets itself in, putting pressure on the item that you want to get a bend out of. And then to release it, what you will do, you will pull this back. All right, pull the handle back, and that is spring-loaded. So you're going to pull the handle back, and then it will drop into place. 
So the tool that we got here, it's a push or pull action. That means that you can either push it in or you can pull it back. And I'm going to show you what we're talking about here. So we're going to go ahead and take this adapter here. We're going to go ahead and set it on the front, just like that. And once again, this is for bending round stock. And it really, really works good. Whether you're doing a brake job, a fuel line job, you might be working on an air conditioning unit or possibly a refrigerator. Um, you might be putting conduit into your building to run electrical. Uh, now, I will say that it will work on conduit, and I'm going to show you that. This is steel conduit, but it's mainly made for aluminum and copper. Um, but it will bend half inch, all right? It won't bend anything bigger than half inch, but if you're doing a conduit job and you're installing electrical, it does work with the half inch conduit, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. So you got this, uh, this adapter that goes here, and then you're going to take this adapter, and then this one is going to go right here just like that. And once again, this is from a company called Vevor. You can see the name right there, Vevor. So we got our tool in our hand. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to find the die that we want for the diameter of steel. So we're going to take our, let's pretend this is a brake line. And we're going to go through our, that looks like that fits in there really well. I like that. But it's a little bit tight. We're going to go up to the next one, and this one's perfect. Look at that. So the way that we got our machine set up right now, we're going to go ahead and take our die, and we're going to stick it in here, and it will push in there just like a socket, just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and get one of these actions right here, and we're going to line this up with the size diameter pipe or tubing or metal stock that we're going to use and it looks like it's this one right here let's see there it is right there so then this one here is going to go upside down just like this and then it's going to screw to the bottom of this adapter right here so now once we have our adapters installed and we got our tool in action we're going to go ahead and turn our heads to the correct position that fits our tubing in here, which is this size right here. And then before we start, we're going to go ahead and start ratcheting that so we can get it started. And then we'll go ahead and stick our tubing in here just like this, making sure that everything's lined up. And then once that's done, we can go ahead and start making our bend. Now I want to show you, this is solid stock here. So you can imagine if you're working on with copper or possibly aluminum tubing, how easy it'll be. Now watch close. I'm not giving it a lot of pressure. And I'm getting a nice bend out of it. Look at that. And you can see how far it bends. It's still going. That's it right there. If we want to go any further, what we would do is we'll go ahead and release this handle right here just like that and then we're going to go ahead and continue to make our bend so now we got it we're, we're reading our road map to what we're trying to do with our line to fit it into where we're going so then all we got to do and you can see how precise that is look it, it, it's very precise look at that so if we only need a small bend in it just like that we're pretty much done release our handle and then we're going to find our next bend that we need to make on it. And we're going to go right here. Let's just say this is our road map for our fuel line or possibly our air conditioning line. And we're going to get it to where we need it. And then we'll do our other bend. Just like that. Then we'll go ahead and release it again. And now what we've just done, we've created an accurate and and positive band without putting kinks in our lines anywhere and our a refrigeration line or possibly our fuel line will fit into the area that it was designed for with no question now another way that i found out that you can use this if you have a vice is you can actually put this in the vice and use it that way just like that and then you got more freedom to use both of your hands instead of just one. 
So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and find the die that we need to do our conduit with. And we're going to go ahead and write up the line. This one looks too small. You can see that. It doesn't fit in there properly. I believe it's going to be this one right here. And yes, that's the one that we want. So we'll go ahead and pop our die in there just like that. And then we're going to have to remove this. This is our other adapter. Remember, there was a, two adapters. This one's for small tubing. We'll go ahead and get the other adapter, this one here, for larger tubing. And then we're going to find out what size that is. And it looks like this one right here is going to be the culprit, the one that we're going to use. And then we're going to go ahead and screw this on here just like this, making sure that the die we want is facing the other die to use so they're all in compatible usage. We're going to go ahead and line up our situation here. We're going to slide our tubing just like this. And now, being in the vise, I'm going to have more access to actually use it. You see what's going on? Actually having it in the vise for this big stuff makes it a lot easier. Now this is what I bought it for right here, is to bend um, conduit when I put my building up. But I also found out that I use this a lot for fuel lines and brake lines on automobiles. So we're going to go ahead and continue to bend this. I want to see how far this is going to go. Okay, there we go right there. We're going to pull up on the handle and it will release it just like that. And then we'll go ahead and take that out and look at that nice bend that that made on that conduit. That's a 90 degree band that is really, really nice. It didn't kink it. It didn't mess it up. We got a 45 or a 30 degree over here. So this is good up to half inch conduit. You can go ahead and use that on half inch steel conduit. You can also use it for metal fabrication on round stock, just like you saw me do here. Or if you're doing a brake job or a uh, fuel line job on an automobile. You might be making a custom fuel line or a uh, brake line situation. Look at that right there. So now that we found out how the item works, let's go ahead and put all this away. Um, one more thing that I do want to show you, you can actually reverse the system around and let me show you what we're talking about here. So what we got here, we got our dies flipped around and then what we can do let me go ahead and get this up here. Then what we can do is we can do a reverse bend just like this. Do you see how easy that was? Watch this. Just like that and we're done. And I got me a nice perfect 90 degree bend right there in our brake line that I need to install on the car. So it's a double whammy situation. Um, you saw how easy that is. We're going to take our die. We're going to put it away right here. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I just pulled that handle out. went down. I'm going to lock it in place right here just like that. We're going to go ahead and take this off. This is actually a very extremely handy tool for um, round stock bending. A lot more than just refrigerant people. So what's my opinion on the 90 degree multi bending toolkit. I'm going to be honest with you, this thing's well worth the money. It's an awesome situation. Um, like I said, I use it for fuel lines and brake lines on automobiles. And you can see how accurate it is. Uh, just an uh, immaculate tool to have. But if you are a refrigeration guy, possibly, you do AC and heat, or you're doing electrical, okay, and you need to get that real precise bend in the tubing that you're working with, this is the kit to have. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, looking at Vebar Tools and saying, this is an awesome place to shop. One more thing about this, uh, I ordered it and had it here within 48 hours. If you've noticed, I've been doing a lot of videos on Vebor products, okay? And the reason that is, is because Vebor, I believe in Vebor. Vebor is a top-notch company, um, very reliable, easy to work with, and very honest people. If you're looking for something out of the ordinary, 
that you can't find anywhere else, I suggest that you get on Vebor's site and check it out because I guarantee you they're going to have it all the way from um, home, home garden to industrial commercial. They have it. This says high quality refrigeration tools, but it's for a lot more got it than that. Take it easy. I hope this helped you out. Go into the description for, there's a code in there that you're going to be able to get a discount on this. Um, I emailed them and told them I was going to make a video of this product. And they said, if you're going to do that, can you put this discount code in? And then in the description, we'll show you how to get to this item where you can order it and have it in your tool arsenal for later use that you might want to say, I'm building a hot rod car and my friend Pete showed me the right tool to use to do it with. Take it easy.